We've all heard that phrase and we've seen it on memes and it goes something like, at that moment, he knew he fucked up. Well, that's the title of today's video and it's simply because this is very reflective of the situation that I found myself in over 10 years ago now. So way back in the early 40s for me, it was one of those situations. I was away, I got sick and I had my second of let's call a mini stroke. I affectionately call them a brain fart. But the reality is in the moment that that happened and I don't have Instagram photos, there was, wasn't around at the day to show pictures of what me looking like. But the minute of me sitting there and then getting the news, I fucked up. I simply fucked up. I stopped giving a shit about me. I stopped giving a shit about me being around for my kids and my wife. And I just stopped giving a shit. That's it. I was too busy focused on chasing the money, being a boss, right? All the sort of shit that you see on social media. And for me to you, if you're a dad and you're in your 40s and plus, if that is still you, for fuck's sake, look your kids in the eye. Look them square in the eye. Are you going to be here? Are you going to be here longer? Are you going to be around? Are you going to be capable? Are you going to be in a walking chair? Are you going to be weak as piss? Or are you going to be strong? And you're going to be able to walk them down the aisle, should that be your daughter? Are you going to be there and maybe be part of the best man group for your son when the time comes? Are you going to be there when the time comes that you become a grandfather, maybe a great-grandfather, but can you get your ass down the floor, play with those kids and get back up again? Or are you going to fuck up? Are you going to not give a shit? And then realizing that all that money, all that money that you've been busy making is going to pay someone to help you wipe your ass, tie your shoelaces, tap it so that it doesn't drip. Because that's the reality that you're going to face if you don't start giving a shit about looking after yourself. Now I know social media and health and fitness is all the young guns, young dumb, excuse my French, full of cum, walking around six packs and shirtless, chicks taking bikini selfies in their G-banger in the dressing room. But it doesn't have to be you. I don't fucking will do that. I don't have a six pack. I don't walk around without my shirt off. But I know that when the time comes to do what I need to do, I will finish. I will keep going, I will show up, I will turn up until the day that the man upstairs taps me on the shoulder and says, Dom, your time is up. I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep trying to get stronger. Yeah, maybe unlike you, I'll lift. I like lifting heavy. I like to do that. I like to be able to do push-ups, sit-ups, squats. I like to be able to run. I'm not great at it, but I like to be able to do it. But... As I look around and I see others, they're on the path. I don't wish for you to realize that you fuck up. What I wish for you to do is I wish for you to realize that you can stop and you can restart today. Sure, you can continue on and sit back and laugh and enjoy the spoils. But at some point, if you're not looking after your health and your fitness, Never mind your mental capacity and all that other stuff. Are you just going to feed the shit into your gob? Then you're going a path of being one of those guys that's going to take all that money that you've earned. It's either going to go to the kids because you are dead. It's going to go to the nurses to help you wipe your ass. It's going to go to the doctors. It's going to go to the specialists for all the ailments, the aches and pains, the pills, the potions, the magic lotions, the shit that you're going to need just to keep you alive. Now, sure, you look at me and go, Dom, fuck you. Maybe that was me too at some point. But as I enter into my 55th year, I give a shit. I want to be here longer. I want to get to retirement and then the money that I have done, not that my plan is to spend it all and not leave anything for the kids, because at the end of the day, we're going to do that. But I've set in motion. I've now set in motion plans that the longer I live, I'm more capable. And then, sure, I get hit by a truck. 
fall off a cliff, struck down by lightning, or whatever else, I know that I've done the things that I needed to do in order for me to live longer and stronger. This has gone on long enough, this video as well too. If you are a dad and you are concerned, then maybe I might be able to help you. Maybe I might be able to help you live longer and stronger. Get away if you're a weak ass bitch and you can't do 10 push-ups or some pull-ups. Again, that's just me attacking you. That's just me attacking you to prove a point that if your son or daughter and they're in their teens are stronger than you, then I'm sorry, but something is not right in my opinion. I want you to live longer and stronger. I want you to utilize the time that you've got on this earth to be able to enjoy it, to be physically capable, to be able to bend down and pick up. Not, as I said before, slip, trip and break your freaking hip. If that's you and you're interested, let's have a chat. I've got a program that I've been working on and I've got some others on it too. I've got people who are around. I've got a younger brother who has done a massive fucking job at losing a huge amount of weight. And he's prolonged his life. I've got a mate who was told who he would never do things in the gym again. You are broken, son, was pretty much the words that they should have just said instead of circling around the fucking drain. But yet he's back in the gym. He's stronger. He's hitting PBs every single week. And he's there for his 14 slash 15 year old daughter. If you want to be part of that group, I'm going to welcome you along. And I'm going to start with this. I'm going to put together 30 days of training. It's pretty simple. It ain't going to be rocket science. It's going to be what I call the big rocks, the basic stuff. It's not the hack, the balancing on the fucking BOSU, the skinny tees, the carnivore, keto, paleo, whatever you know. It ain't any of that shit. It's stuff that has been around, it's tried and tested, and it fucking works. If you don't like me swearing, then I am not going to be the coach for you, because that's how I deliver it. Maybe there's a bit of passion in there, a bit of intent, but it's me. I'm not going to pretend I'm not someone else. So, if you want to be part of that 30 Days of Coaching, I want you to do one thing. I'll put a link. You might even DM me. If you know me, just chat away. Dom, can I get involved? I'm going to do it, and I'm going to put it on a web page, and I'm also going to put it inside a little Facebook group that I've just been pissing around with now for quite some time. One video every day for 30 days on one simple topic. Maybe you can take away something from that, and maybe that can help you. If at the end of that, or some way through that, you're thinking, shit, Dom maybe knows what to do, and maybe he can help me too, then let's have that conversation. I've got programs up the wazoo. I've got other strategies, all the shit to pull me out of the hole that I dug myself that I can share with you too. And maybe you and I together can get on and live longer and stronger. That's it. Talk to you soon, maybe.